This is a brush. This is a pen. And this is a brush pen. You guessed it. Today we're going to be talking all about inking with a brush pen. So out of all the videos I make and whatever content I post on my social media, most of the questions that I ever get are related to my inking process. And I love that because I love inking and I love talking about inking. So um, today I thought I would make a little video on one of my favorite inking tools and that's a brush pen. I use this quite a bit in leisurely art making as well as professional art making. I've tried a range of different brush pens and my favorite is this Pentel pocket brush pen. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Um, it's really great and it fits right in your pocket conveniently. Um, it's, it's the closest thing I found to inking with a quote-unquote real brush and real ink. The tip and the bristles are very much like a regular watercolor inking brush and the ink quality is really really nice. That's why I actually recommend it for professional work as well. A lot of the other brush pens on the market uh, they're great for like sketchbook stuff and preliminary work but I do have some trouble using them with like finished art. The bristles aren't as strong. It's a little bit in my experience they're a little bit more like markers um, where this one feels a lot like a brush. I'd say one of the best benefits to inking with a brush pen is the fact that you don't have to worry about spilling any ink. That's really nice. Um, the convenience of it is really cool too because you don't have to be in a very particular kind of setup. When you're inking traditionally with a brush and ink, uh, you kind of need to be in a spot where no one's going to bump into you. Uh, it's a little bit harder to do that kind of stuff in public. This stuff, I could just take it with me, throw it in my bag, use it in my sketchbook, and when I'm home and I'm working on something professionally, I could use this as well, and also not have to worry about spilling ink on my finished drawing. I've also been teaching for the last couple years or so, and one of the things I've noticed is that my students really love the brush pens. And it makes sense because they're a lot less intimidating than using an actual brush. One of the things I do recommend to my students, and I'll recommend to you as well, is that I, I look at them as very similar. This is very similar to a regular brush, but I wouldn't disregard learning how to use an actual brush as well. One of the things about brush pens is that you have a little less control in terms of how much ink comes out, how much ink you could put down on the paper. Uh, it's kind of like a fixed amount of ink that's always there. When you're using an actual brush, you can control how much ink you put on the brush, you can control how much ink you put down onto the paper. And there's a little bit more subtlety that you could achieve with using a traditional watercolor brush. All of that can be achieved with the brush pen. I think it just helps that if you have that experience using an actual brush, you'll be able to apply that kind of a skill when using the brush pen. So I definitely haven't given up on using a traditional watercolor brush. I'll talk about those in a separate video, but I just wanted to talk about how cool these brush pens are. And if you are into brush pens and you haven't tried this one, this is the, the Pentel Pocket Brush Pen. Um, they're pretty cool. I definitely recommend it. I've used a lot of different kinds of brush pens and uh, this so far is my favorite. I'm sure you probably are already familiar with this. I see this all over the place. I even see it in a lot of like process videos on YouTube. So it pretty much is everywhere. Um, you can get it at, I get these at Blick. And the cool thing about it is that they come with refill cartridges that are really affordable. I think they're like five bucks or under and you get two in a pack, which is really cool. By the way, this video is not like sponsored or anything like that. Um, I'm just recommending what I like to use. Uh, my channel is not big enough to be sponsored anyway, but um, I will leave a link down below to the site where you could probably pick these up if you don't have like a Blick store near you or whatever, but these are pretty accessible. So that's it. I just wanted to make this quick little video showing you my favorite brush pen to use. Um, maybe you have a brush pen that you really like to use. Comment down below if you use something other than the Pentel and if you really like it. So far I've done a few videos on inking tips and just talking about inking in general. Uh, but this is the first video where I dive in on one particular tool. So if you're interested in this, let me know if you'd like to see more videos like this. Maybe I could do uh, compare other brushes, like other 
traditional watercolor brushes that I use? Let me know down below. Anyway, that's all I got for now. Hopefully this was somewhat informative. Hopefully you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.